We are back with Laverne Cox, who is the executive producer of an eye-opening documentary. It's called Disclosure. Tell us about it. Disclosure is a documentary film that takes a look at the history of transgender representation on screen, on film, and on television, and how those representations affect the ways in which people think about trans people and how trans people think about ourselves. Every single person who appears on screen in Disclosure is transgender, and the story and the film of trans history on screen is just constructed through the memories of all the transgender folks that we interview. And we also have a mostly transgender crew, and in the case when we couldn't find someone trans to fill a role. We had a non-trans person train them. We had this awesome fellowship program. And it's really a film that is about how we have looked and how we, about trans spectatorship is the way I've been sort of talking about it. It's about how we see ourselves and how we found ourselves when we maybe weren't explicitly being talked about and how trans folks have always existed um, in film and, and on television, which is pretty amazing. I learned a lot making this movie. What are you hoping that people take away? Like, you know, that just everybody that watches it, what is the big takeaway or the headline that you're hoping for? And they're movies that we love. And a lot of times people are asking me, well, can you watch these films now? Now that we know they're problematic, do we discard them? And I'm like, no, we don't discard them. I, there's, you know, Silence of the Lambs is a deeply problematic film when it comes to trans representation. I say that in quotes because, like, his Buffalo right. Bill isn't really... Friends. But a lot of times, one of the one of Jen Richards in our film says, years ago, she told a friend of hers, this um, white woman who was a friend of hers, upper middle class, highly educated. She said, you know, I'm trans, I'm transitioning. And the first thing that her friend said to her was, oh, you mean like Buffalo Bill and Silence of the Lambs? And she was like, uh, no. <laughs> that the fact that this woman, this very educated woman's only reference for trans identity was this character in Silence of the Lambs who is a serial killer who skins women for their <laughs> skin is right. like right. kind of horrifying. Like, so you Mind wonder mind. why right. there's so much discrimination against trans people when there's all these kinds of images over, yeah. you know, decades. So I, but I still love Silence of the Lambs. I still, it's still a brilliant film. I mean, Jodie Foster is everything. Anthony Hopkins is everything. I still love the film. And just because there's this problematic element in it doesn't mean I don't love it still. And that we can still love art, even though I just invite us to love it critically. Um, that's all. So if you want to see this history in the documentary, it actually comes out globally on Netflix. So if you've got Netflix, that's June 19th, where you can see Disclosure. Laverne, great to see you. Thanks for waking up and glamming with us. I always love to see you guys. I miss real peace, like real live um, interaction. <laughs> but real this interaction. <laughs> but it's so amazing to see you both. I always love chatting with you, and hopefully we'll see each other in person soon. Love you, too. Bye. We'll be right